Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. This week on the guide, we are on week three of our unconventional wrap-up series. We're going to be taking you through the overhead back wrap today. First, we'll show you, then we'll break it down when we follow, so you can try too. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Breaking this down for our leaders. You might notice that this pattern does travel a little bit. However, I don't want to try to make my follower travel. I actually want to try to keep Desiree mostly in place. So as we're going through this spin, I'm prepping here like an inside turn up around the follower's forehead. Then this hand goes up and over the follower's head. As it comes down to go into that hammer lock, I'm creating a little bit of energy here. That encourages Desiree to spin more on the spot versus if I created the energy down line, she would want to travel the spin a little bit more. So we wrap up. That timing there is three and four and for leaders. Now you don't actually need to do the follower's timing. However, I find that helps to produce the lead that you're trying to create in the acceleration. From here, five, we step forward together. Six, you're actually stepping backwards, so you're creating opposition in the connection, which Desiree is going to talk about a little bit more. Then I can just release this hand down for seven and eight, nine and ten. For our followers, do not be intimidated by all the spins. We're going to show you how to make it successful. The first thing is our timing. If we do something much more basic like a hammerlock fold here, walk, walk, one, two, three and, as Matt said, is right underneath of us. And then we step a little bit more forward down the line on four. We're just going to give ourselves an extra beat and take both three and and four and to spin underneath us, stepping out with our right on count five. So check out our new move, the over half wrap. One, two, three, and four, and now we step forward on five and get into the rest of the move. The second thing is that bowing feature that Matt talked about. So we're, when we're in this moment of five, six, we're gonna step forward on our left and we're actually going to allow the leader to take this left hand, kind of press like we're almost doing a push up against the leader with some compression. Simultaneously, we're going to bow out our body, engaging our body, and then relaxing in for the triple step, and then triple it out with an anchor. If you want to practice bowing, what I'd recommend starting with is getting a gym band or resistance band like this, taking it about your frame's length apart underneath your chest and stretching it out a little bit. What you should feel uh, in your back is a little bit of engagement, quite a lot of bit of engagement depending on the band, um, in those shoulder blade muscles, right? And that's the same kind of stretchy feeling we'd like to do with our leader. So, emulate that feeling with your leader at the appropriate time for count six, seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, and eight to get that going down. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. You can check us out online at risingtideswing.com. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter as Rising Times Video. Bye, everyone.